Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about Jackstad pathway. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. So what is Jackstad pathway? The Jackstad stands for Janus Kinase Signal Transducers and Activators of Transcription. This signaling pathway mediates the cellular responses to cytokines and growth factors. The cytokines like interleukin-6 and growth factors like uh, Epidermal growth factor. In mammals, there are four members of JAK family. Uh, they are JAK1, JAK2, JAK3, and TYK4, and seven STADs. The different JAKs and STADs are recruited based on their uh, tissue specificity and the receptor engaged in the signaling event. These responses include uh, proliferation, differentiation, migration, apoptosis, and cell survival, depending on the signal, tissue, and the cellular context. The JAK-STAT signaling is essential for numerous development and uh, homeostatic process. Uh, these include uh, hematopoiesis, immune cell development, stem cell uh, maintenance, organismal growth and uh, mammary gland development. So let's look at uh, these things in detail. So the JAK-STAT uh, signaling pathway follows uh, uh, these steps. The binding of extracellular ligand that leads to the path pathway activation via changes to the receptors that permit the intracellular jacks associated with them to phosphorylate one another. So first step is the phosphorylation, the intracellular ligand binding and the dimerization and phosphorylation. The transphosphorylated uh, jacks then phos uh, phosphorylate downstream substrates including both the receptor and stats. The activated stats uh, enter the nucleus and binds as a dimer or as a more complex oligomers to specific enhancer sequence in the target genes and thereby regulating the transcription of those particular genes. So here you can see the cytokine receptor. Uh, so ligand is there seen as a monomer. Uh, once the ligand comes and binds to that, it forms dimer. So looking at the structure, it has a ligand binding site exposed to the exterior environment and uh, transmembrane helix and the cytosolic domain. The cytosolic domain has the jack. The cytosolic domain of the cytokine rece uh, receptor associate with the separate jack kinase and the ligand binding causes a conformational change that uh, promotes the formation of functional dimeric receptor bringing together two intrinsic or uh, associated kinases which then phosphorylates each other on the tyrosine residue in the activation lip. The phosphorylation causes the lip to move out of the kinase catalytic site and thus allowing the ATP or uh, protein substrate to bind the activated kinase then phosphorylates other tyrosine residues in the receptors cytosolic domains as you can see the multiple uh, phosphate groups addition to the tyrosine residues in the uh, cytosolic uh, region so coming to the uh, uh, signaling pathway following uh, binding of the ligand to the cytokine receptor and activation of the associated uh, jack kinase the jack phosphorylates several tyrosine residues in the receptor cytosolic domain and after an inactive monomeric stat transcription factor binds to the phosphotyrosine in the receptor, it is phosphorylated by active jack. The phosphorylated stats uh, spontaneously dissociate from the receptor and spontaneously dimerize because the stats uh, homodimer has two phosphotyrosine SH2 domain interactions, whereas the receptor stat complex is stabilized by only one one such interaction. The phosphorylated stats tend to not to rebind to the receptor. The stat dimer, uh, which has two exposed uh, nuclear localization signal, the NLS, uh, move into the nucleus where it can bind to the promoter sequence and activate the transcription of the target genes. So that is the whole pathway by which the uh, jack stat signaling pathway works. So there are certain mutations uh, that can cause uh, numerous diseases, uh, the, the jack mutation that can cause numerous uh, diseases, which include uh, severe com combined uh, immunodeficiency, hyper IgE syndrome, certain leukemias, polycythemia vera and other myeloproliferative disorders. Because of the causative role in these diseases and their central significance in the immune response, uh, the JAKs have become an attractive target for the development of therapeutics for a variety of hematopoietic, uh, hematopoietic and immune system disorders. So that's all about the JAK stat pathway. Hope you are clear with this topic. If you like the video, please press the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you.